Hey, Megapodzilla's Crazy Joe. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today's St. Patrick's Day. I'm coming from, can we get the sign in there? Ollie's. Ollie's Bargain Outlet. That's where I'm coming from right now. This is St. Patrick's Day, Friday, March 17th, 2017. But I'm off from work today for a completely different reason. It's also the Friday before my birthday. My birthday is Tuesday. And I always take off the Friday before my birthday for a very specific reason. It's sort of a new tradition. It's only a couple years old. But a couple years ago, I moved to this area. I'm from originally about an hour away, which isn't that far. You know, an hour drive isn't that far in the grand scheme of things. But I never came up this way before I lived up here. And a couple years ago, there was a place that I visited for the first time ever called the Quakertown Farmer Market. And I had never been there before about four years ago. And I walked in the door and it reminded me of a place that I have very fond memories of from my youth that hasn't existed since 1993. Back in the 60s, a shopping center was built in, in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, called the Bazaar of All Nations. They actually made a documentary about the Bazaar of All Nations. If you check the internet, you could probably find it. But the Bazaar was a big deal in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, where I grew up. Everybody went to the Bazaar. For my generation, you know, you... You just, you hung out at the bazaar. You went to the bazaar. You got your comics at the bazaar. If you were a comic book collector, you could rent videos at the bazaar. Anything. You buy clothes at the bazaar. They had a cafeteria at the bazaar. You get your pizza. The best soft pretzels you'd ever want to have. Bernie's pretzels. Bernie's pretzels is still in business in Delaware County, but they're not in the bazaar anymore because it's been bulldozed. 1993, they tore the place down. And if you lived in Delaware County between the 60s and the 90s, well, early 90s, because it came down in 93, you have very fond memories of this place, probably. I've never met anyone who didn't have fond memories of it, who had been there, or had grown up in that area. Like, I've never heard anyone say, I used to go to the bazaar, that place was crap. Never heard that. People loved it. So about four years ago, I walk into the Quakertown Farmer's Market, and to my great shock, the place on the interior looked like the Bazaar of All Nations. And I haven't been to the Bazaar since 93, when they shut down. So suddenly this great nostalgia swept over me, because I felt like I had traveled back in time and gone to this place that I love for my youth, the Bazaar. So my birthday rolled around and I decided I was getting old, you know. It wasn't quite my 40th birthday yet, but my 40th was right around the corner. And I was like, uh, I want to go to the Quakertown Farmer's Market and walk around and just kind of time travel back to when I was younger. And I used to hang out in the bazaar. And I did that the Friday before my birthday. It's always the Friday before my birthday because the place is only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They're not open on Monday through Thursday. And it's just become a tradition. I've gone there on the Friday before my birthday for each of the last several years because it just takes me back to a simpler time when I was a youth hanging out in the Bazaar of All Nations. And like I said, if you didn't grow up in Delaware County, this probably means nothing to you. But So... Today is St. Patrick's Day. It's also the Friday before my birthday. I took off. I'm on my way to the Quakertown Farmer's Market, but first I stopped at Ollie's. And let me show you what I picked up in there. I got some good stuff. I picked up for my old buddy Cinema Sickness. I got a couple things for him, but I'm not going to show you those because I know he likes to show you things on his channel, so I'll let him do it. But I found this Monty Python Live for $4.99 on DVD. This is in a Blu-ray case, but it says that it's a DVD. But it's Monty Python Live, mostly, one down, five to go. I'm not the world's biggest Monty Python fan, but I do enjoy them. I've, uh, I c I'm not one of those guys who could quote every bit they do verbatim. 
but I, I figured I, that's something that would be enjoyable. I also got some really cool graphic novels in there. And these were dirt cheap, like absolutely uh, peanuts. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. First, let me show you these three first. I was a fan of the TV show, I've never read the comics. But got some Farscape graphic novels. This is Farscape Dargo's Lament. Then we have Farscape Scorpius in Glorious Bastards. And one more. Farscape The War for the Uncharted Territories Part 1. Now the problem with this is it's Part 1 and they didn't have Part 2. So... I probably shouldn't even pick that up because what are the odds I'm going to find part two dirt cheap? Still, it was so cheap, I couldn't help myself. Uh, now this one, they're making a movie of the same title. And I don't know if the movie of the same title is going to be based on the same story or if it's just they're using the title and that's it. But this comic book, I remember when this came out, I didn't read it, but again... It was less than $2, so I bought it. Die Hard Year One. This is a prequel comic about John McClane's early years. And they're making a movie now called Die Hard Year One. That's a prequel to the Die Hard movies. I don't know how based on this comic that new movie is. But I yeah, figured I'll read the book. Can't be any worse than Die Hard 5, can it? Could it? I mean... Die Hard 5 was pretty tough. And two more graphic novels I picked up here. If you were a G.I. Joe fan in the 80s, then you probably watched the G.I. Joe cartoon. I think all of us did, and it was a great cartoon. But most G.I. Joe fans in the 80s agree that even better than the cartoon was the Marvel comic book. And I picked up two collections of Marvel comics... These are actually published by IDW Comics, but it is the original Marvel Comics stories in here. I checked. G.I. Joe, The Worst of the Baroness. And G.I. Joe, The Worst of Destro. So that's pretty cool. Some classic Marvel Comics G.I. Joe there. And that was a heck of a series back in the, in the day. And I've reread them. They, they hold up. That was a really good comic book. So that's the beginning of my day, and now I am off to the Quaker Town Farmer's Market. Have I mentioned how much I hate snow? I can't wait for this crap to melt. Look at this filth. This is the place, and it's eerie how much this looks like the Bazaar of All Nations. It's same layout, it's crazy. I just love an old school video arcade. That gets me very excited. This one could use some older games, though, like Gauntlet or Tron, but it's got Pac-Man. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure why I even go in there because the prices are kind of outrageous. If you look at uh, some of the pictures I took here, I found this very same item in Target uh, a couple hours ago for $5. <laughs> and they wanted double that here. Uh, double it. I mean, it was, it was five bucks. And there were some other titles like that that I know I've seen much cheaper elsewhere. So I don't quite understand how they do their pricing. I never bought anything in that store, so I don't even know why I bother, but I go in and I look every time I'm here, and I always walk out empty-handed shaking my head at their outrageous prices.
I bought one action figure in that store. An old school original series Klingon. You see that sign right there? I had to do a double take because I actually thought it said, got boobies. That's not what it says. You never know who you're gonna meet around here. Elvis? Animals. Look at that big guy there. Look at him. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, don't be shy. You can come out of your shell. Yeah, you see what I did there. Ooh, look at you. You're a big guy, aren't you? Are you coming over here to see me? Are you coming over to see me? Looks like you're getting closer. <laughs> this store used to have an alligator named Wally who lived in the back of the store, but he's gone. This sign says not to ask any questions about him. I wonder why. Like I said, you never know who you're going to meet. Speaking of meat, look at all the meat they've got in here. They got like every kind of meat you can imagine. They've even got alligator. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my God. That's why we're not supposed to ask questions about Wally. Oh, poor Wally. Oh. 